This segment brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. Back again. This is Around Kansas. I'm Frank. She's Deb. And you're not. Still. still. <laughs> Old joke, but hey, you know. And aren't you great? <laughs> Especially today. You know, Kansas has, we, we've done a lot of stories about uh, musicians uh, in and from Kansas. And uh, there's no end in sight. Yeah, I mean, there, there, there are just, um, yeah, you're right. The, the numbers are, are huge. Yeah. And anyway, the, the next story is about someone that I really didn't know that much about. But doing this story, I got to learn about him more. That's a great thing you. about being a journalist. Yeah. Seriously. I remember when I was in high school and I was taking journalism, and the teacher was passing out assignments, and I don't remember what the story was, but I raised my hand and I said, I want that story. I don't know anything about it. And when she said, when I said that, she knew she had a reporter. Hmm. Because it's just that curiosity that you you want to know and yeah. so yeah. that's uh yeah the great thing and and meeting people like gary paxton i gotta admit i knew the name because i grew up in north carolina virginia and i remember when he and tammy faye baker were friends and that made the news you know all back home um but i didn't know much about him personally and this story i think is a really poignant very poignant story, mm -hmm. and um, what an um, again, what an amazing talent! Yeah, good grief! And, but yeah, he, he, he even though his life was filled with adversity, he was very proficient as 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 a writer. Amazing, yeah. amazing story, really is, and one worth one worth knowing. Yeah, so let's take a look. Rarely does a talent like Gary Paxton come along. Rarely does a story as painful and triumphant as Gary's come along either. He was born in Coffeyville, Kansas and raised on a farm. No electricity, plumbing, no water. His challenges were more than poverty, however. Gary was molested by a neighbor when he was seven. He started writing songs when he was 10. He had a spinal meningitis at 11. He moved to Arizona when he was 12 and his own rock and roll band by the time he was 14. At 16, he wrote his first million-selling song and recorded it a year later. When he was 18, the uh, song was released by Gary and his bandmate, performing as Skip and Flip. One day, he was sitting in a restaurant when a strange woman approached him and told Gary she was his mother. He had no idea he was adopted. His birth parents were young teenagers when he came along, and they placed him with someone else to raise. He had phenomenal success with songs like Monster Mash and Cherry Pie, but it came too fast for a boy who had been poor too long. He turned to drugs and alcohol, but eventually he turned to God and he wrote gospel music. His shows in Branson, Missouri were a combination of testimony and inspiring songs. He shared those life's uh, stories of his own with cross rhythms from the United Kingdom who allowed us to share it with you. From Gary himself, throughout my career I've written more than 2,000 songs and had over 600 recorded. About 150 of them have become hits in one way or another. He was there all the time, has been recorded over 100 times in five languages. I've been privileged to write many songs with Bill and Gloria Gaither. If I am asked, what is my favorite song of all time, I will answer, I'd rather have Jesus. I'm not a performer, I'm a writer, says Gary. Gary passed away in the summer of 2016. What an amazing legacy he leaves behind. This segment brought to you by the Arab Shrine Circus, coming to the Kansas Expo Center February 17th through the 19th. For ticket information, visit ArabShrineCircus.com. It's Shrine Circus time! Enjoy a weekend of thrills, chills, and tons of fun at the Kansas Expo Center February 17th, 18th, and 19th. See our tigers, our elephants, our high-in-the-sky acrobats. Watch a man shoot out of a cannon. Kids, Johnny Rocket, everyone's favorite is back. For more information, visit www.arabshrinecircus.com. And be sure to thank our corporate sponsor, Security Benefit, the Arab Shrine Circus. Don't you dare miss it. 